O oh, men of the shining way, while fleeing from scent and color, breath by breath they see beauty. They leave behind the form and crust of art to raise their banner, not in speculation, but with certainty. See how they reach the gleaming in the deep sea of recognition, where none will have victory over their hearts, not even death, which they mock and we fear. But think, it is the shell that faces destruction, not the pearl. A tree, a fire, and the voice of my beloved. The fire summoned me as if I were Moses, son of Amram. I entered the wilderness on my weary camel and savored the manna and the quail. Forty years since then I have circled the desert as Moses. Of ships and sea do not ask. Behold the wonder as I sail my vessel on land year after year. Come, my soul, O Moses, this body is your staff when held, a serpent when thrown. And to you, Jesus, I am the bird you made from clay, soaring to the zenith with the blow of your breath. I am a column, the pillar of the mosque the prophet leaned against. If he leans against another, I shall grieve for the division. Lord of lords, the faceless maker of faces, what face will you draw on me? that you know and I do not. I am a stone, then iron, and suddenly all fire. First I am a scale and no stone, then I am both the scale and the stone. I graze on the land for a time, then the beasts graze on me. I am the wolf, the sheep, and the very image of the shepherd. A form appears and inevitably disappears where neither this remains nor that. Only I am knows that I am. And the Kandak Roh that see Mazarash, Margo Jaska no photo than Darsarash. اندک اندک روی سرخش زرد شد اندک اندک خشک شد چشم ترش drop اندک by اندک drop he was robbed of his gold and silver death and dread seized his mind drop by drop his florid cheeks yellowed drop by drop his moist eyes dried drop by drop his branches and leaves parched when the root of his vein broke Each time a part of your pleasure dies, don't mourn. Be sure it will return in another guise. Delight for an infant means milk and the wet nurse. When he rejects the milk, it is for honey and wine. Joy is an inimitable state in multitudes of forms, whirling through water and clay, in and out of the pipe vessel. Once it reveals its beauty in raindrops, then it uncovers its head in the meadow. First it comes by the way of water, then by means of bread and meat. Sometimes it looks like the beloved, at others like a horse and a saddle. 
Suddenly one day it pierces through the veil of illusion, smashing idols, becoming what is neither this nor that. This time as the body lies, idle and deposed in sleep, the soul lifts off, manifesting another face in a dream. It seems as if I dreamed myself, tall as a cypress tree, my face all tulips, body of rose and jasmine. But the cypress is gone and the soul has come home. Then what remains in this or that is a mystery of the two worlds. I fear adversity or I would say more, though the truth says it better. Never let go the grasp of faith. The soul is invisible for being so close and obvious, like a jug with a belly full of water and lips dry as the desert. You cannot see red, green, or russet if you do not see the light beyond them. Color steals your senses and, like a veil, obscures the light from you. But at night, when colors hide in the dark, you see that their visibility was due to light Without the outer light, color vision is not possible, nor the color of the imagination without the inner light. The outer light comes from the sun and the stars, while the inner is the reflection of higher rays. The light of the light of the eye is the light of the heart. The light of the eye is produced by the light of the heart. Again, the light of the light of the heart is the light of God, which is free and pure of the light of sense and mind. At night, when there is no light, you see no color. Thus light is revealed by its opposite. One needs to see light and then see color. You understand this quickly by the antithesis of light. Just as God created pain and sorrow, so by their antithesis, joy may become apparent. Therefore, what is hidden can be revealed by its opposite. God, having no opposite, is forever hidden. Perception of light comes first, then color vision. Opposites make their opposites apparent, like black and white. We learn of light by its opposite. Each opposite elevates its own opposite. Only the light of truth has no antithesis through which it could be found. Ey hafas hay dilam bia 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 ey murad o hauslam bia bia my eyes are sanguine, blood never sleeps. Within the membranes of blood love possesses a rose garden. Suddenly this time I am entangled with love. Love in the sea of sorrow, sorrow is not. Longing is made manifest by the weeping of the heart. There is no ailment like the ailment of the heart. The lover's malady differs from all others. Love is the astrolabe of God's secrets. Whether from this or the other side, love will at last lead us to the other side. 
Yet the more I strive to elucidate love, the more shamed I am upon reaching love. For though the interpreter of words is a clarifier, love without words is even clearer. And while the pen rushes on to write, when it arrives at love, it splits apart, and reason becomes a donkey sleeping in mud. The rendering of love and longing is nothing but love. Just as the sun is the proof of the sun, if you must have proof, do not turn away from the sun.